The Gaitheri project is a solar project that we, we started working on a few months ago. Uh, it was a pro it's a project that was financed by the USADF, the United States African Development Foundation. Uh, last year I was in a program called the Young African Leaders Initiative and in the program there was a grant competition for $25,000. Uh, I applied for the grant and we won the grant for $25,000 which we were to use in, uh, on a project to showcase our, our roofing tile that I talked about, the two-in-one solar roofing tile. The school um, had some challenges in that um, they had they have suppliers from the grid but it's not very reliable comes in once in a while and they've had a, a big utility bill for the for such a small school which was about um, about fifty dollars for such a school every month was a bit high so we thought that this would be a good school and also other benefits that would come from such a project such as having, they did not have a, a computer, they did not have any computer classes for example and we thought having such a project here would be good for them so that they are able to have um, other benefits coming out of such a project. From the time that we installed the, the solar, we are able to do many other things and uh, we are also able to carry out our daily activities without interruption. With the students and the community they are very optimistic. In fact uh, they have come to like the idea. In fact many of them are even approaching us. They are asking uh, about the installation. They are also uh, asking about if it can uh, it can be stored maybe in the in the communities allowed because even when there is rationing they normally see electricity uh, in our school and therefore they are very optimistic and they have liked the idea i have seen uh, some students uh, being uh, very interested with whatever is happening they have been asking questions involving the the installations some are more uh, likely to 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 have courses which are related to energy and power. In fact, they have been asking so many questions. They have been asking how to operate some of the, the operators that we have. And at the same time, some are now interested in uh, computer studies. It has been, uh, you know, cultural in a way that uh, the the girl child has been shying away from the science-oriented courses. And this time round. They have started developing interest. They are asking these ladies, what do you do so that you can achieve this much, in, uh, particularly in physics, which, of which the project calls for a lot of knowledge in physics and mathematics. They are questioning which subject they are supposed to take, and that calls now for career guidance. That means our students have aroused, the, the project has aroused their curiosity on the career alignment when he, when in school, which subjects one is supposed to study. Mostly they were curious to find out, can they also get into the same field, how can they become engineers. Um, and through this project, a lot of, especially female students, were very motivated to get into engineering as a field. For their, in their, as a career in future um, and also just to get into renewable energy it became something that they are now considering it is a practical thing that they have seen the students are also motivated by the Strauss energy having installed the system in our school for example the girls mostly because we consider that the career that is the engineering career was considered to be for men only, but seeing a young lady who seemed to be very young, having pursued the career, the girls are also motivated a lot. It's quite an inspiration because you can you can come as early as you want. If you want to be left for evening studies, you can because there is light everywhere. The time that there is a blackout, we are not able to, to do our studies well. For now, there is no blackout. We are able to do our studies anytime we want. We can go to the class with a projector and demonstrate. See, for example, the, 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 the titration process, how titration process takes place, how the, the, the pumping of the blood, how the kidney functions, and so on and so on. And um, I'm seeing the future of this project will great, have even greater impact if we can introduce a reasonable ICT policy, for example. Uh, it's been a very, it's been a wonderful opportunity. Uh, I mean, it's a historic moment uh, for us. This is one of the very first projects of this type. 
Uh, so I personally feel very privileged to be part of the installation team. And uh, also just having interacted with the teachers, the staff members and the children, the attitude has been very positive. Uh, the students are very eager to, to learn and to see what we're doing. The staff members are very excited about the opportunities that um, solar energy is going to give them. The introduction of these uh, products to Kaideri now ensures that not only the office equipment, but the recently set up computer lab can operate throughout the day on a 24-7 basis. Uh, when you think about renewable energy as a whole, the place that you end up in is sustainable households. Um, where you combine solar, you combine biogas, you combine wind and any other renewable energy source to make sure that your housing unit um, is, is using sustainable resources to generate power for the entire, then for all the uses that are in a particular area. So that's one of the ways that you could combine the two. And for schools, especially schools and institutions, which have a really huge, rather a very uh, great demand on energy, combining biogas will take care of, uh, biogas and solar. Biogas will give them fertilizer, give them energy for cooking, heating, lighting. Solar will help them light, help them power their computer rooms. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You add wind farms, you can do solar electric fences to protect the school. I mean, it's, it's a really, I mean, the possibilities are endless.